Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Windows 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move between open windows. Let's get started. So you'll see here that on my desktop it's currently completely blank, but I do have programs open. How could you tell that I have programs open? Well, you have to look to see what's going on in your taskbar. Currently on my taskbar, you can see right down here that I have certain programs pinned to the taskbar. These are all the programs that I use the most. Out of these programs, only some of them are open. And you can tell which ones are open because they have a light blue line at the very bottom of the program. Also, if I hover over them with my mouse, you'll see that it gives me a preview of those programs. Notice that the ones that aren't open, like Access, if I hover over it, it doesn't give me an option to view a preview. Therefore, I also know it's not open that way. As I hover over PowerPoint, you'll see the preview. And Publisher, same thing. Okay, so now that we know how to see if a program's actually open, to click to open the program, all you have to do is go down here and click it to open it up. Okay, and you'll see I opened up File Explorer by clicking on it. And now we notice one more change. As I open up File Explorer, and that's my active window, you'll also see that it's shaded more lightly than the rest of the applications. Even if I hover over Word down here, you'll see that this window is st or this icon is still highlighted. That tells you your active window. So even if I do something like decrease this window or pin it to the left side, and let's say I pin Word on the right side, I could tell that right now Word is my active window. Again, because right down here, you'll see that Word is highlighted. So if I start to type, I would expect, yes, words are now typed in Word. Okay, great. So let's say I open up a new document in Word. So I open up a new document. There's my new document. Now I officially have two Word windows open. The way that I could tell that I have two Word windows open is right down here on my taskbar again. Under Word, you'll see that there's a little black line vertical over on the right side of the Word icon, letting me know that there's multiple tabs or multiple versions of that program open. Also, if I hover over this area, now you'll see that I have one on the left side, which is right here, which I'll maximize now, and one on the right side, which is right here. Okay, great. So what happens if I want to switch between these two windows more quickly? Well, one trick that you could do is you could go down here, click on Word, and click the other window, one, two, but as you can see there, it's hard to tell which one is which, right? So to switch between these two windows, a keyboard shortcut that you could use is by holding down Alt on your keyboard, which is just to the left of your mouse, or sorry, just to the left of your spacebar, and then pressing the Tab key. As you press that, you'll be able to switch back and forth between the two documents without any problems. Also, notice that my screen, whenever I press Tab, pops open with all of my active windows. So now I can hold Alt and continue to press Tab to open up any of my windows. So if I want to switch to PowerPoint, that's how I could do it. If I want to switch to Publisher, I'll hold down Alt, I'll press Tab, and you'll see that this white border is currently around Word, meaning I would add in, or if I released Alt, it would take me to Word. But if I want to get all the way to Publisher, which is down here, I need to press Tab multiple times, and now you'll see the white border around Publisher, and if I release my Alt key, it takes me to Publisher. So that's a quick way to switch back and forth between your windows without having to use the mouse at all. And notice that as you switch back and forth, you'll see that the icons are lightly shaded when they're active. So that's how we move around windows inside of uh, Microsoft Windows 10. So hopefully this uh, video has helped you navigate around Windows a little bit better. If it has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you and try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.